Kelly, and I work for the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. And today I'm going to teach you how to make an altered craft for Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is a um, celebration where we honor and remember our loved ones who have passed away and we celebrate their memories. To get started, you want to get your um, supplies out of your kit. We have a couple long um, popsicle sticks and four short ones. We also have a piece of uh, cardstock paper and you can use whatever supplies you have around the house if you have markers or, or, or paints even, um, crayons or colored pencils. Um, and then you're going to need some glue, a hot glue gun and glue. And um, you might want to ask for help from an adult um, when you're doing the glue. And then I have some extra embellishments to add to decorate my frame with. And so we have some fun stickers and you can use glitter or confetti or little pom-poms if you have those. So whatever you have that you can make, you can even cut out of construction paper little designs that you can glue onto yours, or you can just draw and color on your popsicle sticks. So to get started, I am just going to take two popsicle sticks and keep them the large ones and put them a parallel across from each other and take the four short popsicle sticks and put two on each side. And then I'm just gonna hot glue those down. You might need help from an adult. You could probably use some Elmer's glue and just wait for it to dry. But here, I'm gonna just do this really fast. And then, I'm going to color my frame and I'm going to use markers to color mine. Once you've colored it, um, then you're ready to add embellishments. Depending on what picture you put in the frame, you either want it to be um, landscape, horizontal, or vertical um, portrait. So my picture is of my grandpa who passed away last year, and so his is a portrait. And so I'm gonna put my decorations this way. I'm gonna add some stickers. I have a couple of fun sequins I'm going to add to mine. Once you've decorated your frame how you want it, then you are going to put your um, picture inside. So what I'm going to do is take the piece of cardstock paper and I am going to glue my photo of my grandpa on it so that um, he's supported. This is just printed on thin paper. Then once you have it glued on, then I'm just gonna cut out the extra um, cardstock. I'm just gonna mark over here where I'm gonna cut and mark up here at the top where I'm gonna cut. So 
since this is going behind the picture frame, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it hanging over the edge. Um, just want it to be right behind him. So now I'm gonna glue the cardstock to the frame. to let that dry for a minute. If you're using hot glue, it doesn't take long. The last part is to take this medium-sized popsicle stick and I'm gonna draw a line, a straight line, uh, to make a straight edge there. And um, this is gonna be the stand of the picture frame, so it will stand up if you wanna make your own altar at home or just set it up. I'm just cutting along that line to make a straight edge. Then I am going to add some hot glue just along that line and stick it on the back of my frame. Hold it until it dries just a minute or two. If you're using Elmer's glue, you might have to hold it a bit longer for it to set but I'm sure it will work too. And then your picture frame will stand up for your altar honoring your loved ones like my grandpa.